Hey guys, what's up? It's Layton. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about the one, the only, the queen, Miss Kelly Stans here on YouTube. First of all, let me just preface this by saying that this illustration has nothing to do whatsoever with the topic. <laughs> it's just a random illustration and I just felt like doing it. So, uh, mind your business. Also, if you haven't subscribed as yet, I would suggest that you do that right goddamn now. Please? <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna jump right into it. Miss Kelly Stamps. So, I have been wanting to start like a YouTube channel for a while, but, well, procrastination because that's what I do best, baby. So, this one day I'm randomly perusing through YouTube uh, to find a YouTuber by the name of Kelly Stamps. Not, not simply a YouTuber, but like a queen of clarity, transparency, motivation inspirational minimalism and i was just like hey wait who is this i don't know her at least not yet and so i immediately subscribed and the first video that i saw from her was a video titled uh you need to start a youtube channel here's why and i was immediately intrigued enamored captivated choke held Mind you, it was around April 2020 when I found this video, which means that it did take me a full calendar year of procrastination before I actually started my YouTube channel. But I did listen to the advice or, well, it was more so instructions because she was not joking around. Let me tell you, she was talking her shit and I was like, wait, is she, is she attacking me? What's, is she talking directly at me? What's going on? I'm confused. This is scary. Mom, send help. But obviously she's very witty, charming, and she's got that whole quirky black girl magic thing going on for her. Love that for her. Love that for me. Love that for us. And I like her obsession with this place called Italy and tiramisu in particular has me thinking maybe I should get into tiramisu even though I hate the idea of coffee in general. So needless to say she's an influential babe. But, with wit and charm aside, there's a wealth of knowledge when it comes to, uh, like, producing YouTube content within her videos. Like, you know, YouTube earning, how to create thumbnails, editing, filming, content planning, and just a bunch of other little things that make your channel grow, make your content a little bit more captivating. Like, how to structure videos to keep, like, people's interest beyond like the first 15 seconds which is apparently when people are most likely to click off oh by the way if you've made it past the, well if you made it to this point in the video leave a comment let me know so that i can give you like a little bit of recognition for being a real one you know what i'm saying okay and thank you so much for running that watch time up because the lord knows i need it um what was i saying what was i saying before i went on this tangent uh, okay, well, cannot remember. Can't even keep my own attention. Wow. Wow, Nini. Anyway, so yeah, I got sorta obsessed, which, I mean, rightfully so. Because as a, <laughs> as a quote-unquote new, new YouTuber, which is still very weird to say, but as a, as a new YouTuber, she pretty much is like a huge inspo. Like, she is my Pinterest board. So aside from all the YouTube growth, YouTube production, YouTube success stuff, there's also her lifestyle video, which is also like, <laughs> here comes that word again, aspirational, baby. The lifestyle videos are giving very much financially stable, very young, very hot, very independent, slash alone or whatever. Uh, but it's never lonely. You know, we don't do that shit. Baby said, let me travel here. Let me move there. Oop, let me move again. And I felt that. Maybe maybe not in the literal sense because I've been in the same place for like forever. But aspirationally, I felt I felt that. And continued to feel that. And I saw like a couple of videos. Well, actually one video in particular about somebody seeing why they 
unsubscribe to Kelly Stamps. Uh, main reason being, like, she feels like the content has shifted from being, you know, very fun, lighthearted, to being a little bit monotonous and not being very relatable. Um, which, you know, I kind of see it as being very aspirational in a sense of, like, you know, what, what could happen to you if you keep doing YouTube? What could happen to you if you keep growing and you keep pushing your 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 content? And it, it all came down to, at the end, she was just basically like, I am jealous. And I, I feel like that's probably something that the, the person who made that video specifically has to work on. Because in my eyes, looking at Kelly Stamp's success and how her her content has evolved over the past year or so it's to aspire to like i don't really look at it as being jealous because i don't know her personally so there's nothing actually to be jealous of you don't know what's going on behind the scenes or whatever but with that being said a year later i still do find her content to be very interesting and um you know it lends itself to getting in the mindset of not being too attached to things, not being too attached to one place, not depending on anybody to have a good time or a good life, being really independent, being a little free-spirited, being a little bit carefree, but also being very financially smart, which are all very much directions that I'm trying to go in at this particular point in life. So her content serves me well. Quick side note, I do consider myself to be a part of the Stampede. If the rest of the Stampede shows up here, please say hi. Anyway, today is a really hot. My mouth is very dry. I ain't got nothing left to say. So I'm just going to let you guys watch the rest of this painting. Uh, and I'll pop back in at the end of it. Just popping in to say at this point in the painting, I was just, I was like, what do I do now? Where does it go from here? And kind of started thinking about how it's in an ugly phase. And not really like an ugly phase, but like a, a phase of uncertainty. And so I think I stopped filming and then I just kind of got a couple ideas, edited, and this was the final result, baby. And obviously, if you've made it to this point in the video, you obviously like me or what I do and you think that you should subscribe to some more. You know what I'm saying? Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.